Do you have something to say? Sure. What's on your mind? Please tell me that wasn't a chat-up line. Look, I've heard it all before. If you really want to impress me, then it's going to cost you a lot in blood and gold. I'm not cheap, you know. Okay, then. Taking it from behind. I mean, taking people from behind. Since sneaking up on them, of course. Sorry, I just can't keep my mouth shut. This is boring. Nothing but the same thing every day. Huh. I'm a bit busy at the moment. What did you want? Actually, I'm growing it if you hadn't noticed. I'm the only person alive that can cultivate Nern root from a seed to a fully grown plant. I had quite the mentor. He taught me everything he knew about the Nern root and its strange properties. I haven't seen him in many years. I wonder what became of him. I used to be. There isn't much time for that in my life anymore, I'm afraid. I actually owned a shop in Vivek City long ago. But I had to leave all that behind when the Red Mountain erupted. Perhaps someday I'll reopen a shop here in Skyrim. Is it that obvious? I've got my hands full here. Between the farm chores, cultivating my supply of Nernroot, and keeping a tight rein on my sister Adori, there's little time for rest. Really? That would be a pleasant change. One of the ingredients I need to cultivate Nurmut are Jazz Bay grapes. The acidic content of the juice is perfect for the soil. I need 20 of them for my current crop. Good luck finding those Jazz Bay grapes. They're very rare. You are not very tough.
heard of this mystical natural wonder known as the Fountain of Booze. Do you think the stories are true? I sure hope so. If I ever found it, I would never go sober again. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night we heard screams from the barrel, and that was it. We never saw him again. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. I think you should... Continue with your performances. <sighs> What's the point? I'm not very good and it's only for the same few people every night. Ever thought that our lives are just one big game? Like someone is sitting there playing with us, like some adult plaything? <laughs> no, I don't mean that kind of adult. It makes you think though. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Philip? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Weren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to... Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done.
Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Be careful up there.
wonder why the Danmar are called Dark Elves. It makes them sound really evil. I've been told that I have one of the nicest voices in Skyrim, or even Femiel for that matter. I say I am inclined to agree. 